What is going on, guys? Before we get to the spoiler review, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. We, I, I am doing a Walking Dead giveaway, and all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and put down in the comment section hashtag RIP Glenn. The winner will be announced at the end of season seven, and you can win this Skybound exclusive Negan and Glenn figurine changeable faces. So just put subscribe, put down below in the comment section, hashtag RIP Glenn. Let's get ready for that spoiler review. The Well. Boy, we are talking The Walking Dead. Welcome, guys, to Dead Walking Sunday. And, man, it's a great change of pace from Negan's brutal episode to now Ezekiel and Shiva's appearance. Spoiler review. <laughs> Spoiler alert. We're going to be talking. I'm going to be talking just the ins and outs. I believe there's like a discussion of between friends. Friends, and just overall, what I liked about the episode, what I kind of necessarily didn't like, but overall, I really, really enjoyed this episode. It was a slower episode, which I think was much needed, which was great. It's great because we had a, such an impactful first episode. This was a nice little breather to get us going in season seven to get us more to see what everybody else is doing, and I think that's we needed a little bit of change of pace. As much as we love Negan, well. Some of us do. We need a nice little change of pace and see what Carol and Morgan are doing. And in this episode, I thought when they were getting Morgan talking about change to um, what the fuck is his name, uh, Benjamin, I was like, yeah, Morgan, please change, change. He even brings a gun when uh, Ezekiel asks him to go along with him, and he pulls out the gun, uh, pulls out the gun, no hesitation. So. He, I think he's starting to believe that, okay, this philosophy of every life is precious, that's true, but it's true to a certain extent. There's people who are out there to kill, to make sure life isn't precious no more. So I think Morgan really, I think he's starting to realize, like, I thought I was doing the right thing, I thought I was going the right way, but... I, you change. You change. And I think the writers are smart enough to know that the fans were put off by Morgan and that philosophy. I mean, it's cool that he has a fucking stick. He's Gambit and he's kicking everybody's ass. I love that and the fact of Morgan that he's a fighter. But what I don't like about Morgan is that philosophy. And it really was a letdown when Morgan actually joined Rick and the crew. And it just wasn't this new philosophy just got in the way of everything else, the more important picture. So I think now that Morgan is changing up a little bit, I think he's staying with at the kingdom for now uh, until he meets up with Rick again. And that's going to be a better kind of reunion because I think Rick and Morgan deserve that. I think they deserve more of an upfront, con deep conversation. I mean, Morgan and Rick's conversations are one of the things I really look forward to in the uh the show because Morgan's one of my favorites in the show but last season just was just a letdown it was just him just kind of whining and just ew, especially with the wolves and it just wasn't my cup of tea but I think this episode was a lot to do with Morgan and his change it was a lot to introduce he was the man who was for us as the audience to know what the hell's going on because they did bring Carol back to get medical attention those people who had prison guards kind of suits and boy what an introduction to Ezekiel. Now, Ezekiel, man, the actor who plays Ezekiel, he is on the money. I mean, I he is a great, great casting choice. I, when he was dramatic, Shakespearean, he was dramatic and Shakespearean. But then when he's real and down to earth and talking to Carol, like, listen, I, you know, I worked at the fucking zoo. All right. <laughs> you know, when he was down to earth, no, no bullshit. Oh man, he did a great job. Great change, change of tone. Great change of pace, man. Ezekiel is awesome in the show. I wouldn't have thought they. I mean, how do you make Ezekiel and Shiva so presently know without laughing? Because you know he has a fucking tiger and he's so she, he's over the top. But they did a fantastic job, and they did a fantastic job with Carol. Did Carol did a fantastic job with her facial expression? She's like, 
what the fuck? <laughs> like, it was so funny. Uh, just absolutely fantastic job with the casting of Ezekiel and uh, the actor himself. And Ezekiel's character was so charming and so much breath of fresh air because when the way his manners and the way he talked, the, the conversation with him and Carol, I was actually really glued to the TV because I really did enjoy some of the dialogue in this episode. I think the dialogue is getting so much better because these characters are so much better. You don't believe me? Why don't you go back to the governor and remember him talking to Rick and the some of the dialogue that was on in there. Some of the fucking the moments in there is not as good as what we're getting right now. Right now we're getting charismatic characters. We're getting actors who know how to just make this dialogue their own. I mean, it's just it was just overall and his his buddy peace. That was hilarious. That was that was so funny. Um and you need to. You need to smile and laugh a little bit. I mean, yes, we are in an apocalyptic world, but we are still human beings. What I really liked about this episode was, uh, other than me, I mean, the music choices, I don't know, but just having them have music and Ezekiel really ex- wanting a, you know, a choir, wanting to sing, be joyful. That is, you're trying to rebuild society that is done. You know, the world is done, but doesn't mean your humanity has to be done because they're, they're doing quite well. They're growing stuff. Uh, they, they have, it seems like the community is really intact. It really, they're doing really really well and i'm so glad we are finally here at the kingdom uh, i'm so glad that we got a little bit of taste when the saviors you know ezekiel is paying the toll he doesn't want people dying he doesn't want to go to war so he's basically you know complying to negan and his crew i was wondering like what the fuck's up with the pigs why are they feeding the why are the pigs eating walkers? And then that little end towards the end or towards the end, we see that them offering their offerings and it's the pigs that it's crazy that they were eating walkers. So they're just like, hey, we're trying to get you motherfuckers sick. Fuck you guys. Like that shit was, oh man, did Negan eat that meat? Did Negan eat that tainted meat? Remember when Bob got eaten? Oh, poor Bob. <laughs> um, so I really, I, I did like the conversation, uh, the confrontation too, especially with Negan's man saying like, you know, making a threat back. And then of that one guy, the one savior, I mean, that one savior was a little shit, man. He's going to die for sure. What a fucking asshole. But overall, I thought it was just a great, great episode. And Carol really, I think she's grow she's growing more. She's growing in the fact, or she's, she's, her mind's clearing up. Her mind's clearing up now. <clears throat> I mean, she still left the kingdom at the end, but you know, Ezekiel's just that, that that's a friendly neighbor right there. Like, what's up, baby? Like, I wonder too, is he, Ezekiel gonna hook up with Carol? Like, I was thinking that the whole time, like, you know, Michonne is already with Rick. So are they gonna push Carol to Ezekiel? And you know what? I could dig it. I I'm not I'm not no not I think it's fine. I mean, why not? You know, why, why not? I mean, they had great chemistry. The The conversation they had uh, by the fire was great, especially, you know, <laughs> Ezekiel being up front, being real. I like that. I mean, of course, they'll probably make it to where they're friends, but I thought, you know, I thought that was interesting. I, I kind of like that. And we do know Carol was with Tyrese in the very beginning of the comic book series, so why can't she be with Ezekiel? Um, and then Carol, I know a lot of people were pushing Carol for Daryl, but that didn't turn out to be, which I I don't know what's up with that. Uh, and then it was Carol with that one guy from the, um, the hilltop, uh, not the hilltop. Um, shit, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, but Carol was with, uh, with that one guy, but you know, that was never going to work. (laughs) None. That's just, that's never going to work. But overall, I, I, if, hey, if they have, uh, Carol with Ezekiel, I, I, I'm all for it, man. I, I already think their friendship and their chemistries are really, it's already great because I was waiting for that scene throughout the he- whole episode. Like, I want them to be up front. I know Ezekiel sees Carol and sees she's acting because Carol was acting once again like this. Oh, sweet, innocent. Oh, yeah, the, the, the pie. Pie was a cobbler, the peach cobbler. Goddamn amazing, <laughs> you know. Uh, so. Great episode, honestly. I thought it was great. I thought Morgan and Carol growing together along the way, and you know, Morgan saying, "Oh, you're the best person I knocked out." <laughs> like, it was, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, top ten, top five. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, that was good. That was great. Um, Shiva. What can I say about Shiva, man? The special effects were great. Very, very great. I think, I'm pretty sure it was, it might have been a mix. Nah, it was probably special effects. Uh, it was, it was well done. Well done. Especially her facial expression when you hear the music in the background, uh, you know, with the choir singing and her facial expression is like, she's out bathing in the sun. Very, very cool. Very, I, I like that part. And I like the, the story that Ezekiel gave about how Shiva came to be, you know, kind of a, you know, loyal, loyal, you know, just loyal. Um, what I really liked too was Ezekiel's kind of theme music. Uh, when we first get introduced, to Ezekiel, I thought that was pretty good theme music. So, not bad, not bad. I love, I love, I love, I love the music in The Walking Dead, especially some of the kind of they put tracks on there, especially towards the end, like uh, "Leave Me Home." I like that's my one of my favorites. But uh, this episode, just oh man, this is a great, great. This is a great episode. This is a great calming, calms me down. It makes me want wonder what's going to happen with Daryl next episode. If you saw the preview. But very, very, very solid episode. I'm, I'm very happy with this episode. I'm very happy that we got this type of episode. Um, it just, it wasn't action, action packed, but it really just introduces a lot of things to come and it really introduces a, another charming motherfucker. And no, I, as much as I love Negan, I'm really, really digging Ezekiel. Great casting. Great shit. Awesome. Thank you guys for listening. Remember how to do the giveaway? Just check in the very beginning of the uh, video. Winner will be announced at the end of Season 7, so everybody has a chance to win that figurine. So thank you guys for listening. I'm Dan and Megan Down Sun until we talk more. The Walking Dead. It was another edition of Dead Walking Sunday. All of you guys have a great week and...